How you doing? My name is John Sikoris, and this is Sri Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. favorite Momo talking fucking Momo shit. That's me. All right, guys. Uh, got a few things we're going to talk about this week. I got some good shit, I think. I don't know. I think. Uh, I want to thank all you guys, though. You know, you guys have all been, uh, you guys have all been really good, uh, you know, with supporting me and shit like that and, uh, and, and, you know, watching the videos. I really appreciate that. You know, it means a lot to me. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, about the Matt Porter thing last week, which I talked a little bit about. I just want to, I just want to let it be known. You see, all over the internet, everybody and their brother is using that as an excuse to talk about something. You know what I mean? Like, talk about him. And, you know, everybody all of a sudden is so worried, so worried about you taking steroids. You know, go get your blood checked. Everybody with that, get your blood checked, get this, get that, you know, and all this other shit. Okay? It had nothing to do with that. The guy was already in trouble with the heart, okay? He had problems. It, it had nothing to do with that. And yeah, you should get your blood checked, but hey, these guys are fucking all using their... F it makes me laugh, because I did the video. My video was about, for the wife, for the people you leave behind, about the death and what death leaves behind, you know what I mean? And how, you know... It, it, look, when your number's up, bro, your number's up. Now, some people help that out a little bit. Yeah, steroids, bad for you, so is fucking a lot of other shit, you know what I mean? But, let's face it, you know, these guys are all blowhards on the fucking internet. I see all these YouTube videos, some of the guys I'm even friends with, you know, they're talking about, well, go get your, you know, get your blood work, get your check, and it, it, it's the same fucking shit all the time, man. It's the same shit. He had his blood work checked. Rich Piana had his blood work checked. Rich Piana had gone to a doctor like two weeks before he died. You know, was having his heart checked and stuff. It, 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 listen. Okay. Listen. I, that's enough of that. I'm not going to get any more. I just, you know, I just I can't stand here people fucking with the same bullshit. They're so hungry to make videos. So hungry. So hungry to make videos, bro. Me, I could walk away from this tomorrow. All right? You know what I mean? This whole bodybuilding shit. I can walk away from it tomorrow. Bodybuilding is, 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 is today is body modification. It's not bodybuilding. It's not the sport I fell in love with. So, we'll talk about something else. Alright. Uh, let's get busy here. Um, I'm going to do a first really quick question. Uh, Mini Wolverine uh, asked, uh, was there steroids in jail? And if your son wanted to take steroids, what would you talk, would you talk to him about it? Uh, no, there were no steroids in jail. Where I was, was a county jail. I was not in like the deepest state prison, okay? Uh, so there was no, there was no steroids. You couldn't, I was in like a fucking supermax, bro. You could not get out of there. There's nobody breaking out. Nobody, you know, you were inside a bubble, inside of a bubble, inside of a bubble, okay? And it was, everything you did, if you picked your nose and ate it, they watched it. There's no steroids there. It was no lifting weights there. You want to work out, you get to push ups, sit ups, that kind of shit. All right. Now, put that aside. Um, did do what I talked to my son about steroids. Um, my my son, you know, we've discussed all that shit before. Of course, my son doesn't want to do steroids. Uh, the normal guy out there in this world, okay doesn't really want to take steroids and get jacked, okay? There's a lot of guys who don't, are not into that, 
they're not they're just not into that. You know, what you guys what well, you see Big Ramy and you're like, oh dude, if I could look like Big Ramy, you know what I mean? But a lot of guys don't want to look like that. My son has potential to look like that. My son looks like he takes steroids, if you see him. But my son's very career oriented, you know, my son's in intelligence and everything like that with the government. He's not gonna fucking do that stuff and he's not gonna put his not only his job at risk, but he, he just he doesn't care he doesn't wanna look like Big Ramy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even though he's got the genetics, the heavy thighs, fucking huge calves, you know what I mean? Big form. He's big. He's a fucking moose. You know what I mean? He was like one of those guys you went to high school with that you call moose. You know what I mean? He's, that's what he is. You know? So, uh, would I would I recommend steroids for him? No. If he was older, yeah, I would. You know what I mean? I would. You know what I mean? If he was like 40 and he you know, wanted to do with TRT, but there's, if you're not going to compete and you're just trying to look good or do the bodybuilding lifestyle, all you need is really TRT type of steroids. I wouldn't go fucking crazy with the insulin and this and that. What, to be the biggest guy in the mall? To be Mr. M Mr. Mall? Mr. Nightclub? You know, walk around on the beach? Mr. Boardwalk? You know what I mean? Is that, is that really fucking your work? That's all insulin? This and that. To do what, bro? For what reason? Okay? Steroids are one thing. But when you're getting into those peptides and fucking growth hormone and all that shit, you know, if there's a cancer fucking floating around, you're in shit, you know? So, again, my son doesn't have any desire to do that, and, and uh, I would only recommend it to him for more, to, you know, to keep his body when he's older, you know, like working right. I recommend that for everybody. I think TRT's great fucking shit, man. I'm steroid pot. I, I'm a firm believer in steroids. I don't, uh, I'm, I'm. I, I'm a promote. Uh, I should say promoter of steroids. I I think the steroids are you know done correctly are a great lifestyle. Okay. I use some shit. I hope I'm not spitting it all over the place. Okay. I I think you know if they're done right. So there you have it. I mean I just uh, you know steroid guys on steroids, young guys, 21, 22, they walk around. They're not even competing. They have no. They have no business taking steroids. You don't have. He's too young, bro. Tap into your own shit. I didn't start till I was thirty-five. All right, so that's why I can still look right now. I still got muscle and shit like that because, you know, I think there's a question related to that. So I'll hold off. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, but um, I get the clipboard. You know, I I, I don't know. I remember reading something about that. So we'll, we'll we'll look at that over in a second. But. So that's, you know, that's, that's the whole thing. There were no steroids in jail, not where I was. And my son, you know, if he wanted to take steroids, I'm not against him. I'm all for him. But, you know, responsibly, you know what I mean? That's, that's the whole thing, you know. Don't do what I did, that's for sure, you know. There's no use. There's no use in it. And, again, this all ties into a question that's coming up, okay. So, all right. Oh, by the way, this is by, the, the last question was by Mini, my, my Mini Wolverine. Sorry, Mini Wolverine. Uh, he's the one who asked me about my my uh, my son and you know and if there's steroids in jail. This is by S G D E Galvez G A L V E Z. Wants to know how did you fall into the steroid thing? Uh, just being around them for so long, or com come uh, compete with others. Uh, I always wondered, I always wondered that, uh, sorry guys, again, I'm sorry I read like a third grade, I, I'm, I also was my handwriting, um, fuck it, I'm a Momo, that's what happens, um, uh, train and diet so for, for so long and then throw it all away makes no sense to me, I'm not judging, Lord knows I am, I ain't no angel, just absolutely curious, alright, what he's asking me basically is how did I get involved with the steroids, you know, I guess the drug dealing thing, what made me start taking them in the first place, and he says, you threw it away for competing. First of all, listen to me. When I competed, I wasn't on steroids. I was natural. I was also a lightweight, all right? So, you know, and I was undefeated. So what happens is, is when you're, you know, when you take steroids, see, I trained 23 years naturally. So what that means is when you train natural, okay, for so long, you're going to have a good fucking structure, good physique, and when you go off, I don't care, all these guys that you see, every one of them, every fucking one of them, every single one of them, when they go off, these pro bodybuilders, unless they were natural and had a built a good structure, like maybe like uh, Sean Roden built a good structure naturally, you know, a few of them did, you're going to go back to looking like shit. 
Sorry, this is the fucking truth. It's all juice. It's hard to believe when you see a guy like Big Rammy, that one day that he could just be maybe skinny again, and or, or just have no mu Look at Tom Tom uh, Prince. Look at Paul Delette. Those guys, they were monsters, monsters. Okay, Tom Prince had fucking giant fucking thighs. You ever see his thighs now? He looks like Lance Armstrong. They almost look alike. He's got the same build. Skinny. You would never know that guy ever had a fucking uh, a master. Of course, sorry, it's all juice. It's all juice. Sorry. So you guys who are super jacked and you're on massive amounts of shit, you may not think so, but you're going to have to go off one day. It's, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. You're not going to be an old man on that shit. And you, the, the, your own body will force you to go off either, you know, through kidney problems, liver problems, heart, whatever. You, you'll go off. Trust me. And when you do, you know what that whistle means, right? Pee Wee Herman time. Yeah, because you didn't build the muscle naturally. So you go off. All right. Now, uh, what else does he want? He wants to know how I got started. How did I get started? Well, I was a natural bodybuilder. I owned a gym. I lost my. I lost this one gym. Okay, I sold it. I, I sold one gym. I had two gyms at one time. I sold one, and I kept the other. That's one Lee Haney was at Lee Labrada, Ron Love. That's this one right here. You see this? Look. See that? This is right here. That's taken at my gym. That was my gym right there. That's Lee Labrada wearing my gym shirt in my gym. Okay? That's Peak Skill Fitness Center. Alright? So there you go. Now, that gym I wound up closing. And uh, I wound I have, I, you know, I had a new, new, well, it wasn't a newborn, but he was, you know, a year or two old. My son. Okay? And I wound up having no job, all right, so I started working, and, and remember, I knew all these guys, I knew all these bodybuilders, because I used to promote shows and for the NPC, and oh, he asked me, why did you stop competing, this is all tied in together, I, I built a gym, and I started promoting shows, because I made money as a promoter, and I made no money as a bodybuilder, there's no money in it, I just watched an interview with guys just standing with my boy Dave Plumbo, the guy's a very close friend of mine. And guy, and guy was even saying, I don't make my money off of people say, how can you do all these appearances and all this shit? He said, I don't make my money off of fucking, off of uh, bodybuilding comp competition. You gotta make, I make that shit, okay? Unless you win the Mr. Olympia, bro. You know, which chances are it's not gonna happen for you, okay? You're gonna, you know, I know some of you guys, don't say that, that's so wrong. You don't know, I could do it, you know, determination. Yeah, everybody's determined. Okay, not everybody wins. So you understand, everybody's the time to win. It doesn't mean everybody wins. So what I'm saying to you is that so I wasn't making any money. I wasn't making any money, body, but I was winning shows and shit. But what's good? What good does that do? I got a whole fucking bunch of trophies. You know, I'm gonna throw them out. They don't mean anything to me like that anymore. And that's all right. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I built the gym. I was making money with the gym, and I started promoting shows to make a lot more money promoting shows. Okay, a lot more money. And I was promoting for the NPC, which was a new organization. All right. There was a corrupt piece of shit named Carl Campagna, who was a fucking, uh, you know, who was the head of the NPC New York division back then. And I didn't get along with him. We butt heads a few times. So I was leaving. And as I was leaving, there was a coup and a new guy got brought in. His name was Steve Weinberger. Okay. So I was there before Steve. All right. He was, I think, running the show, Steve Weinberger. But um. You know, Steve Weinberg is a good guy. I get along really well with him. So, there's, you know, there's no beef. But I'm saying I got out of there because of Carl Campania, you know. But anyway, so I was running shows for the NPC. And then I, you know, I sold the gym. Uh, I, I, my one gym. I, and the other gym is a fucking gangbangers were outside, shootouts out in my park. All horror, murder, dumped in my dumpster and shit like that. And, and it was in a bad section, okay, of New York. So I had to get out of there. So eventually I got out of there. Now... I started fucking bouncing in a gay bar. Me and my partner, who would be my future partner in the gym, my partner Paulie. Okay, we were bouncing all bunch of we were all straight, buddy. The thing is, is that uh, you know they want the straight guys. They want guys fucking mingling with the gay guys. You know what I mean? So the whole we had a whole crew of bouncers there, and I was the head guy. And uh, but I wasn't making any kind of fucking money. I, I, I you know I had a kid, and then. 
I started working at another gym. And I'm putting back weights at the other gym like a fucking momo. I went from owning a gym to be like, hey, Greg, there's uh, somebody threw up in the fucking bathroom. Can you mop that shit up? You know, and I'm over there like going, oh, dude, I was running shows for the NPC. I won, I won every fucking bodybuilding show you can imagine. I fucking, I, I, I'm over, I, I own my own gym, which has superstars. Lee Robata, Ron Love, Gloria Cavell, Vince Taylor, G, Tanya Knight, you know, John Defendis, uh, uh, you know, Johnny Morant, fucking, I, I can't even, I can't even remember them all. Lee Labrada, Jackie Paisley, uh, uh, you know, all these people, Rick Valente, so many fucking people, Dean Caputo, uh, you know, I have all these people, you know, Lee Haney, and all these people, right? All these people in my gym, and now I'm fucking mopping up, fucking puking, fucking putting back weights. Yeah, Greg, somebody left the dumbbells out. Could you put them on a rack? You know, yes, yeah, Mazza. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, this is not fucking for me. One of my boys, who kind of, you know, likes to dabble in fucking dirty shit, you know, said to me, listen, I know some guy that fucking deals with juice, you know, and you know all these pro bodybuilders. How about, you know, I hook you up. I'll give you the shit, I'll front the shit to you, and you sell it to them, and you take your chunk and give me my chunk. And that's how it started. Okay, my boy gave me the fucking stuff, he fronted me shit, fronted me money, and I needed the money, bro. I needed the money, I was taking back cans and bottles, you know, I had a little newborn baby at home. You know, bouncing, fucking making less than $100 a night. Wasn't cutting it, you know what I mean? I, need, I had a baby, I had a house, you know, I got all this shit, and I'm not fucking making any money. So I need to make money. And from the first fucking first sale I made, I made like two, three, four thousand dollars. I can't even remember. I get to all this they're all bumbled in my head, but I made a couple thousand dollars. One day, boom, like that. I was hooked, bro. From that moment I was hooked. And he he was like, Wow, bro, I didn't realize, you know, I knew we'd make some money, but not like this. So he got me more shit and got me more shit and got me more shit. And before you know it, I was full fledged into it. And I, I didn't even need him anymore. I had so many connections and shit, I, I got really fucking big. So now I'm selling steroids, right? And going a couple years into the 90s here now, and I'm selling steroids. And, you know, I'm, I, I get another gym, build a gym with my, you know, partner, Paul. I, you know, I call my partner, Paul. He's not my life partner. He's my fucking buddy. So let's cut that out. Uh, so anyway, so what happened was, you know, he was also bouncing at the bar with me. So we, you know, we, uh, we bonded and shit. <coughs> and we got the gym. And I would help guys work out and, you know, train and shit like that. I would do some personal trainings, which I hate, okay? But I would do it. And I'd see these young kids come in the gym and they'd be all fucking, you know, they'd be asking me how to train and I'd give them a whole workout. And then fucking six months later, they're walking around huge, you know what I mean? And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, and here I am selling this shit. And one day I just had a box of Anabolex, which is Dominican D-Ball was sitting right there. And it was calling on me. It's calling my name. It's going, Gregorio. Gregorio. Come get little Dibosito. I'm waiting for you. It's Dibosito. It was anabolics anyway, but it's Dibo. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. And I'm like thinking about all these guys, you know, they're getting bigger than me and shit, you know. I fucking trained 23 years natural. And I'm like, you know what? I earned this shit. So I'm fucking, I was like 35 years old. I open up the box. I pop one. I swallowed it, and I said, holy fuck, I'm no longer natural. Because before that, I had pride. You know, I walked around, hey, dude, I'm natural, you know, I'm natural. You know, he's Jack, but I'm natural, you know. And I was fucking, dude, I was built, everybody thought I was on steroids. So the minute I took that shit, I was like, fuck this. I just robbed a bank, now I'm going for a million dollars. I took, like, fucking the whole fucking thing full of, like, D-balls. I, I, it was, I think, two sleeves of it sitting there, which had 10, I must have took, like, 20 of those fucking things. And I was like, fucking forget it. That's it, bro. I went over. Next day, I had a big box of fucking, dude, you, you, I don't want to make you fucking jerk off. But I had 200 bottles of Steris testosterone. 200 bottles. And it, back then, I think it was Sipionate. And I just fucking I dumped the whole bottle in me right there. It was gone. It was a love affair, bro. And that's how it started. And then, you know, I, you got to remember, I was a drug dealer. So I had it like that. So that's how I got into the drug, de uh, the, not only the drug dealing, but the drug use. They kind of came together. At, you know, it wasn't at the same time because I was already drug dealing like two, three years. And then, you know, I took it. So at first I wasn't taking it. I was selling drugs, but I wasn't taking it. Then, forget about it. 
Let me, what the hell, he had another part to this. Let me read it. Hold on. Basically, he was saying you have to train and diet for so long and then just throw it all away it makes no sense. It, I didn't throw it away, okay? It doesn't make me money. It didn't make no shkato, okay? And when I started the babanya, When I started that shit, okay, I did it not because I wanted to compete. I knew I wasn't going to compete anymore. Fuck it. Listen, if you're not going to make money, okay, it's a lifestyle. I get it, okay? But I wanted to make shkato, okay? That's what I was doing. I had a kid. I had to make shkato. My daughter wasn't born yet. So I didn't make money, all right? So I made money. I owned a gym, and I sold the fucking babanya, all right? That's how I was making money. And I was making good money. The reason why I took the steroids was because I felt I earned it. 23 years naturally, and then you see these other guys go, but bro, let me tell you something. I gained 100 pounds. I was maybe a, I maybe more than 100 pounds. I was a buck, maybe 167, 168, you know, something like that, lean. And I went up to 275. I might have been even more than 275, but I, re I remember stepping on a scale one time seeing 275. I might have gone up a little bit higher, maybe two, you know, that's why I say 278. I don't think I ever lay, uh, I don't think I ever weigh 280, but, you know, I'm 5'6", bro. I'm not breaking no height records, you know what I mean? I'm 5'6", you know? But I took a lot of the babanya, and I'm one of those kind of guys, you know, stop fucking around, you know what I mean? You know, start your binging and start your syringing. The babanya. <laughs> That's what I did. All right, so that was my mindset, okay? So there you go. So I did it. You know, uh, it, it, but the point of quitting competing, it, 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 you know, bodybuilding's a lifestyle, okay? And I don't, I didn't want what, to compete for what? So I'd stand up there with another trophy. Here he is, Mr. Dick Hurts, you know, and you're holding it up. Mr. Buckeye Barbell, or even a minute, it doesn't matter. The USA, I want, you know, I, I, I want a natural USA, but who gives a shit? What I'm saying is, even a Mr. USA, Mr. America, and now, you know, the nationals, uh, back then it was Mr. America, Mr. USA, you know, but I'm, all these different things. Who cares? What does it do? So you get a trophy. You know how many guys won those shows and, and, and fucking, you know, how to go get jobs and shit like that? You know? I mean, even in the Olympia, you guys you guys are delusional. Oh, Mr. Olympia makes $400,000. Yeah, let's see you win the Mr. Olympia. Okay? Not many have won it. What's there been, like 17 Mr. Olympias in over 50 years? You don't understand. It's not easy to win that. And once you go from first place to the Olympia to second place to third, by the time you're third place, you better get a fucking job. It's not like it's just a sport. It's the, the money's not. The money's not. Guys, Sister Nino just said it to Dave Palumbo. The money's not in competing. The money is in, you know, you know, self promotions. You know, when you get out there and you fucking, you know, supplement company sponsorships, uh, uh, doing guest appearances. That's where the money is. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, if you guest, if you compete and you win some big shows, you'll get some guest appearances. Dude, I made more money selling the babanya and fucking owning the gym than these guys are making from their guest appearances. Trust me on that. Okay? Trust me. Read the articles. Read what I was called, how much money and all this shit. It's, it's, there's more money. All right? And I don't recommend any of you guys doing that. It's not worth going to jail. All right, you got bish. You get what I'm talking about. All right, I, it, 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 that was my mindset, though. I can't fucking feed my kid with a trophy. Do you understand? Walking around, you know, being the biggest guy in the fucking mall. You know, yeah, yeah, baby. You know what I mean? Nobody gives a shit. First of all, most people don't respect that anyway. You think other athletes? They look at a Phil Heat. You know what they say? That's, ah, oh, dude, that's all steroids. That's a fucking juice head. You know what the UFC guys say? I'll kick his fucking ass so fucking hard. You know why? Because he's skinny. Dude, my daughter fights MMA. My daughter's an MMA fighter. Okay. She's a fucking Brazilian jiu-jitsu. That's what she does. And she, all, she used to fight hard times in the fucking parking lot. You see, you have no idea. She's bad. My daughter's rough, bro. And she could probably take some of these big male pro bodybuilders. You may say, come on, she's a girl. Get the fuck out of here. Dude. I, you've never been around these people. I have. 
okay? If you've ever seen Holly Holm and some of these people I've seen in person and kick not only kick a bag, but tie a motherfucker up. Go on the internet. There's a million fucking... St there's dudes walking... Jack dudes walking in a dojo challenging the owner of the dojo, okay? And he'll say, wait a minute, you know what? Let me get one of my students here. Pulls a girl out and it's, you know, she's fighting a guy who's jacked and she puts him out on the ground and knocks him out. You understand? And she's a regular girl, a little ponytail. You know what I'm saying? Come on. You know, you ever see Paige Van Zandt? She's a sexy girl, man. Cute girl. See her in a bikini. You say, look, look at this fucking hot body on her, titties, the whole bit. Nice girl. Dude, you know what she would do to a big Rammy? She would do to a big fucking bodybuilder. You still don't think that she wouldn't, bro. She would. That's a skilled fighter. That's a fucking machine. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that the bodybuilding is today. Back in the old days, you know, it was different. But today, it's so fucking big and so freaky, and you can't move, bro. You can't move. I'm just saying. Other athletes don't look at bodybuilders as athletes. It's fucking body modification today. It's not bodybuilding. Sorry. Talk to Sean Ray about it, you know, or a lot of these guys, the old school guys. They'll tell you it's, it's not bodybuilding anymore, man. It's body modification. You're not an athlete. Fuck. The bigger you get, the fucking more athletic you don't get, you know. Wait, I think it's said No, the more athletic you get. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not look. Uh, guys, I love bodybuilding, but I love the lifestyle of it. Now, at the competition, I can give a fuck who wins in Mr. Olympia. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. If I offend any of you, I'm sorry. Okay? And I'm sure there's a few out there like, no fucking way could a girl take Big Rammy. No way. Yeah, way. Unless he's a skilled fighter that we don't know about. And even skilled, when you're that big, you can't fucking, after 10 seconds, he's gassed. They're guests doing double, they're guests on stage doing fucking most muscular and double bicep. <laughs> you know what's going to happen when some fucking little girl comes up and throws a fucking roundhouse kick and hits him in the jaw? Little birds flying around his head like KO, baby. All right, next question. I'm saying that, you know, you can't put so much stock into that effort. I'm going to get into the anxiety thing in a second. But uh, you can't put so much into that, okay, because it's not legit. My daughter's got friends, okay, that are hot girls. They're just college girls, and they got like 100,000 followers because all they do is that same picture with themselves, you know, side view, taken in the mirror and shit like that, you know, where they're fucking either in bikinis or, you know, they're hot looking and shit like that. Nobody knows. Guys don't give a shit that what your name is. Guys don't give a shit what you've accomplished in life. If you're a hot chick, a guy will click on like and like your fucking thing and follow you just because you're hot. Okay? They don't give two shits about you. They don't know. It doesn't make you a celebrity. It doesn't mean anything. It just means you got a bunch of fucking momos, a bunch of fuckos that are hard up and want to follow a girl just because she's hot. Okay? That's all it means. That's all it fucking means. So people put so much stress on themselves right now to try to get, oh, I need to get 100,000 followers. I want it so bad. Why? Why? What's it going to do for you? Do you? Does your ego need that that bad? Do you really need that that bad? Does that, is that going to put all this money in your pocket? And if it does put some change in your pocket, it's only, it's only temporary. It's only temporary. See, that's the biggest problem I feel with social media and, 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 and even the Internet. It's made a lot of people quit their jobs and think, like, I could just do this. Yes, there are some people who could do this for a living, but they're few and far between. And most of these people with all their big following also got in on the top of the pyramid when it first started. You know, maybe 2007, 2008, when YouTube first came around, they, they, they built their... You know, they built, they got a, a profile, built their channel back then. When Instagram first, you know, when you're in the beginning of something, that's what happened. It's hard to do that now, okay? It's very hard. And you can't put so much pressure on yourself to feel that you're a loser if you don't have so many followers. Dude, listen to me. I I can go to, I, I don't even work my, you know what my last Instagram post is? Uh, I might have one since this video here, but... I'm making this video Monday, whatever the fuck Monday is. It's the fucking 8th, 9th, whatever, May 9th, maybe. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm making this video now, all right? And, and, and uh, Excuse me, June 10th. It's June 10th, I'm sorry. I said May 9th. What the fuck is wrong with me? May 9th. I'm a month behind. It's June 10th, all right? You know what? The, as of right now, you know what my last post was on my Instagram? It was my mother for Mother's Day. 
All right, that's, it. that's the last post. Now, I'm going to put something else up. I have my girlfriend do it. Remember, I got a flip phone, so I don't really... But the thing is, do you think I give two shits about... You know, I don't work my fucking social media like that. I barely post uh, stuff. Not, you know, if you follow me, you'll know that already. It doesn't mean you should unfollow me. Please don't unfollow me. Maybe I shouldn't have said any of that. I'm kidding. I don't give a fuck. But uh, I'm just saying, I do it because social media should be fun. You know, and I, I want to stay in touch with you guys. You guys know this already. If you're here on this YouTube uh, thing, this isn't even my channel. This is Joe's channel. Muscle Sport Max channel. Okay? This is Muscle Sport Max channel. It's not mine. But yet I comment on, I try to answer all your comments. Uh, that's me that's there, you know, with the fucking all caps typing and shit. Okay? I try to answer all your comments. Do I get anything out of it? I could be just like everybody else, not answer the comments, let you guys comment away, you know what I mean? Sit there and collect money from Joe here, give me a couple bucks, and believe me, it's only a couple bucks. Uh, I, I, I don't, not, not doing this because I'm trying to make money here. Whatever I do to help you guys, I don't give two shits, bro. All right? I don't give two fucking shits. I could walk away tomorrow. Adios, amigos. You know, off into the fucking sunset. You know, it doesn't mean anything to me. I do, you know, I do my social media shit more for the fun and more to help people. That's all I give a shit about. I don't want. I don't give a shit about me. I don't care if you know, you know, if, you know, about being relevant and stuff, dude. I've I've made my point. What I've accomplished. Two books, two books out, you know. I got fucking, I've been in movies, I've been in television. I've done all, I, I do think I give two shits. I'll walk away tomorrow, even from that. It doesn't mean nothing to me. I'm still a broke ass, you know what I mean? When you're broke ass, you're a broke ass. All right. I don't think I'm answering this question right. So let me let me go more into the anxiety part, all right? It's, you, 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 you're doing this to yourself. Nobody gives two shits in the end of the day, about how many followers you have, or any of that shit, if they like you, they're going to follow you, they're going to want to hear what you have to say, okay, that's it, why do you think I get so many views here on my YouTube, on, well, on Joe's YouTube channel, this is not mine, this is Joe's, why do you think I get so many views here, alright, because you guys like what I fucking say, and, and that's what it boils down to, and I'm not saying that in a cocky way, I'm saying to you, don't put so much stress on yourself that you have to fucking do Because in the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. All right? It doesn't mean anything. It, it, I do this. I've helped. Listen. I do this because I want to help you. And I've helped more people. Okay? I've. You have no idea. I've helped a lot of people. I've changed some lives. And not just here. It's personal stuff. I'm not even going to get into. But few of you watching this know who you are. I've helped more people than these fucking guys with a million followers. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. Okay? I don't give a shit fucking about building up, you know, numbers. That's what it's all about. Okay? To me, it's all about if I can help you with my... Not Dude, I never sit here and talk about my greatness. I had the biggest arms ever. Who gives a shit? I, that looks disgusting to me anyway. All right? I don't, I don't get here and brag about any of that shit. I don't give two shits about that. I, I, I want to help you guys, all right? I don't... It, it, I, it's what it all boils down to, all right? And if I could change one person's life and help one person, okay, but have one fraction of the fucking followers that one of these other guys has, shit, then, my, then I did my job. I did what I wanted to do. Too many people put too much into their fucking following on these social media sites. And it's, you can't do that to yourself. Stop doing that to yourself. Okay? Stop doing it. Stop putting your pressure on you. Okay? Because in the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck. Alright? Nobody gives two shits. I'm just telling you that. Have fun. Social media is for fun. To, to make new friends. To, to connect with people. And that's it. It's not to try to make yourself a celebrity. Nobody cares. Okay, none of these people, these influencers, that fucking blonde, whatever her name was, that Britney, whatever the whatever the fuck her name was. I put that fucking clipboard down. Nobody gives two fucking shits. That's a momo. Okay, let her fuck. That's an ego. They're ego filled. All of them. You know. You get that other fucking momo talking on you know about Wikipedia pages and you know it says here that you know uh, you know Big Ramy you know he does uh you know thirty sets of biceps and who gives a fuck, bro? Get out of here. You know, 
If I had to do that, if, if Joe was going to pay me to do that, I wouldn't do it. Sorry, I don't care. Okay? I'm not going to do that shit. If I can't help you people, I, I, I'm here because I've been through a lot of shit, bro. I've been through hell. I have. I've been in hell. Okay? I've had the devil fuck me in my ass, bro. I, I can tell you that right now. And that shit wasn't fun. If I can help one of you people from that, then I did my job. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? Social media, have fun with it. Just connect with people. Enjoy, you know, interacting with people. You know, have fun. But don't put so much stress on yourself that you have to compete and try to get more followers and do all the shit. Like all these people with their Matt Porter videos and shit like that. The guy's dead. There's people fucking all over the place. You need, you know, they're all saying the same fucking thing. I keep telling you guys to get your things checked and your money and this and that and all this other bullshit. You know, get your numbers checked, you know. Oh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, watching Generation Iron, you got guys, uh, listen, you need your numbers checked. I keep telling you. Do you think they really give a fuck? If you get your numbers checked, do you think they really give two shits? Are they sitting here trying to help your life, or are they stoking their own fucking egos all the time? Please, please. I tell you guys all the time. Be good to yourselves. You're worth something. You're not worth nothing, okay? You're not worth nothing. You're, good. You're worth something, all right? I care. I care. I want to help you guys. I want you guys to get to the next level in your lives. I, it, it means nothing. It means nothing how many people follow you on YouTube. It means nothing. I don't give a shit. I don't care if you're fat. I told you, I, my two best friends are fat as fucking hell. All right? One's 500 pounds and the other's just about 500 pounds. Okay? And it, it ain't a muscle. It don't work out. But you think I care? I don't give a shit. They're my boys. You understand? What I'm trying to make is, I don't care what you look like. I don't care if you're the ugliest, fattest, skinniest, whatever. You, you could still be my friend, and I still care. I still it, it bothers me to hear one person. It's why when I did the Matt Porter thing, it hurt me from the woman's point of view. It hurt me from his wife's point of view. It hurt me because I think about it, I know what it was like. See, I have experience, guys. My girlfriend died, and I, and I know what it's like to hold her dead body. So I know what. Matt Porter's wife's going to. I'm not, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you all you guys, get on, you know, go get your numbers checked. Or get. There's enough of that shit there, okay? He got his numbers checked and he still died, all right? Dave Rich Piana just got his, got his numbers checked two weeks before, okay? I know Chanel. I'm friends with Chanel, trust me. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is that you gotta, you gotta fucking, you gotta Simmer down with all that worrying about getting a following and worrying about getting your name out there. Because in the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. You still got to get a job. You need a pension. Because when you're older and you're fucking 70, 75, 80, you're not going to want to go to work, bro. You're going to want to collect. I know. All right? Because I don't have a pension. I'm a fucking fucko. All right? And I'm telling you the way it is. I'm going to have to work and do fucking videos like this and other bullshit till I'm fucking 80 years old. You... You're younger than me. I'm this, you know, 80 years old is not far away. It's almost 20 years for me. What I'm trying to tell you is get your shit together. Worry about the things that are really important in your life. Not social media. Not a following. And if somebody's attacking you on social media, what do you give a shit? Dude, do you know, dude, do you know who you're talking to? I'm the guy who there's a whole article written by Chris Sugart. Okay? Or whatever the fuck his name is. The most hated man in Bobby. That shit was written in like 2001. And do you know that to this day, that shit is still, when you pop up my name, that's the fucking article that comes in. Am I the most hated man in Bobby? Really? No. Not even close. But if I let shit like that, there's all kinds of shit, you know, about me. My wife was a man. Meanwhile, she gave birth to kids, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I'm faggot. I'm fucking, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm only 5'2 or 5'1. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the Sintel. How stupid. How, the, the, the biggest one of them all. The Sintel things. My arms were all... Uh, None of it's true. I don't give a shit. You don't have to believe me. You think you think I, I lose sleep over that shit? <laughs> not, not at all. Not at all. So you you guys, I care about you guys. I want you to let that shit go. If it's bothering you, you know what I mean? You feel like you got to do more, don't do more. 
All right, it's, it doesn't matter. In the end of the day, it just doesn't matter. What matters is you. To me, you matter. All right? And that's all I give a shit about. I want to help you guys. If there's something going on in your life, put it down here. All right? Let's talk about it. Let's get it out there and talk about it. We'll all help you. I wanted this to be, this talking smack here is to talk about shit. It's not just bodybuilding, but it's about life. More about life and, and getting your shit together. Okay? To have anxiety over something so small like social media, when you got other things, bigger fish to fry. Trust me, again, I've been there. That's why I did the Matt Porter video with the wife. Is because I've been on her side of the fence. And nobody's talking about that. They're all talking about getting your numbers checked, like I just said. But nobody's talking about what it's like to be holding your life like this. And everybody, you know, your, your mate just died. Now you got to take care of the house, the home, the children. You know, everything else without the person that you thought you were going to live to be old with. That's deep. Think about that. Look at your wife. Or your, your boyfriend or whatever you got. Look. Look at them. Think about they died tomorrow, how you fucking would feel. How you'd be left holding everything. And, and, and you're the person you love, the person you thought you were going to live to be an old man or an old lady with, is dead. Some heavy shit, especially if you got kids. And Matt Porter had kids with her. So what I'm trying to say is that's that shit's more important. That's why I do these videos here. Okay? It's, the, it's because of that. Because of that wife, that woman. Okay? His wife. That poor thing, holding up that fort with those kids. You know what's like? Where's daddy? I want to see my daddy. When, when the kid's a little bit older, you got to tell me your daddy died. You don't know. Okay? That woman's in for a whole fucking world of shit. And meanwhile, all these other guys could talk about it. Well, eh, you know, you should get your numbers changed, you know? No. Fuck that. Checked. Excuse me, not changed. Checked. Get your numbers checked. All right. There you have it. All right? I hope that answered you quite, you know, I, I really, you know, social media over, over, uh, having anxiety over social media to me is a fucking absolute, dude, I got 99 problems, and that ain't one of them, you know what I mean, I got 99 problems, but social media fucking anxiety is not one of them, I can tell you that, so, let's help each other out, let's all pull together and help each other out, okay, that's what I want on this channel, let's, let's what I want on this show, talk a smack here, okay, because we're, we're going to talk the real deal here, and and that's what ma means the most to me, you guys mean the most to me, that's why I tell you, be good to your girl, be good to your wife, your significant other, whatever your spin is, even if you're gay, be good to your significant other, if you get children, pay your child support, doesn't matter what she does with the money, it doesn't matter, the, what matters is that you gave it to her, and if she pisses it away, spends it on her new boyfriend or whatever the fuck she spends it on, one day she's going to have to answer to her children because you're their hero, because you sent them. Even if right now you're their zero. I, been there, done that, bro. Been there, done that. Okay? I was in jail and I made sure she got child support. I came out of jail. I still, my kids didn't want to talk to me, none of that shit. I still paid the money. And now I'm the hero. Okay? Not the goat. All right? Pay child support. And guys and girls, be good to yourselves, man. Come on. Be good to you. Be excellent to you. Because I fucking care. Okay, if you can't do it for yourself, do it for me. Because I give a shit. I need you guys here. Not because I want somebody to watch this video. Again, this ain't even my channel. I don't make the money off the hits. I make nothing. Not a, not a fucking zero. Not a. Okay, they're not giving me free shit right there. Okay, it's not like I'm fucking doing this, you know, to get my asshole greased. I'm doing it because I give a shit. All right? So what I'm trying to tell you is, be good to you. I need you here because I want to help you guys. I want all of us to collectively as a unit help. If one of you guys is in trouble and you say something here in the comments, I expect the other you guys to pick it up and say your part. Help them out. Help them out. Okay? No attacks. I don't like bullies. Nobody do the bully thing is I don't like that, bro. Come be a bully in person. Come be a bully in person. 
Try being a bully to my daughter. <laughs> big fucking guy, big bodybuilder. She'll kick their ass. Put them in a fucking guillotine and that's it. Anyway. Thanks for being here, guys. All right? I love you guys. Be good to yourselves. You matter to me. Don't think you're alone. You fucking matter to me. Okay? You know that. You matter to me. I want you all here. I love you guys. All right? Don't think because I don't know you personally doesn't mean I fucking see every one of you fucking guys who puts a post that even if I couldn't answer it, I see it. I see every fucking comment. I see them all and I know who writes. I know who the regulars are. I know who does it. Okay? You know that. I, I fucking answer those things. All right? Show me who else does that. I don't get, do you think I get paid doing that shit for that? No. I can tell you I don't. I don't. I do it because I fucking care. That's maybe a flaw in me. Maybe I'd be better off not caring. I watch a movie and I could fucking cry in a bad scene. You know what I mean? It, it, I'm just telling you. All right? I don't like to see anybody down and out. It would hurt me the most with that Matt Porter thing with his wife. I still, I'm still not over that shit. You know, I got to reach out to her. But, you know, it's even Chanel, Chanel will tell you. I almost called her Chanel Piana. Chanel will tell you. About me, you know, with the Rich thing and her. I, I care, bro. I felt bad that Rich died, but I felt better for her holding his hand while he died. It's, it's... You don't know. You don't know what that's like to be on the other side of that fence. I hope you never do. Be good to yourselves, okay? I love you guys. And you know what I'm going to tell you? Stop fucking around. I can't even do it with authority because I'm fucking emotional right now. Alright? Stop fucking around here. I... I did better. Anyway, all right, guys. See you next week. Titan Medical Center, we are here to make you feel better, look better, and perform better. We're here to get you to your optimal levels in the most natural way possible. We are a boutique style clinic without the boutique style costs. All medications are monitored and prescribed by a physician. Let us help you get the results you've been wanting. Come to Titan Medical Center for the most cutting-edge therapies and the most current information on how to take the most natural approach to your health.